back at Crumble. This week's lineup looks pretty amazing. So the cookies, I got them in mini form. So there's a fried ice cream, there's a brownie batter, and then there's a pumpkin one. Fried ice cream, it's chilled, it looks great, tastes just okay. It's just not one that I'm going to go out of my way to ever get again. Brownie batter. Hmm. Ooh, that's one that's gooey, a little chewy, has a little bit of crisp, melted chocolate. Bro, that's one that's fantastic. I would 100% buy this one again. The fried ice cream is like a 2.5 out of 5. Like, eh. This one is a chocolate lover's dream. It's a 4.5 out of 5. Pumpkin. Now, this is already looking different than a normal crumble cookie because it's like a pumpkin cakey cookie, and that's what I would expect from a pumpkin cookie. So, mmm. Oh, brother. Pillowy soft pumpkin cookie. Mmm. And the frosting on top is also fantastic. This is great. Bro. Absolutely elite. 4.9 out of 5. But let's get to what we really came here for today. First off, there's a raspberry cheesecake. I mean, look at that. Oh yeah, got all the elements. Mm. That just makes me feel things in other places, bro. This is so great. This is so great. I'm gonna tell you what. If you like cheesecake, if you like raspberry, I'm talking like five out of five elite. So good. And then the main event, the maple cinnamon square. Big as my face over here. Like this is huge. That maple frost and just cake, but it's like cinnamon laden. And then the maple on top buttery cake as well. This crumble lineup is phenomenal. It's a 4.7 out of 5. Just pretty freaking good. Go to your local crumble this week. 